Chang'e 6, New History For 53 days, China's robotic explorer traveled half a million kilometers, landed on the moon's far side, and accomplished something no nation had ever attempted, bringing back physical samples from the hemisphere that never faces Earth. But this latest success is just the tip of the iceberg. Over the past two decades, China's moon missions have uncovered secrets that could reshape humanity's future. From revolutionary energy sources to underground cities waiting to be explored. In the moon's far side, a mysterious hemisphere permanently hidden from Earth, shrouded in cosmic darkness for billions of years. Until Chang'e 6, no spacecraft had ever successfully landed there and returned with samples. Chang'e 6's return capsule touched down in Inner Mongolia, carrying 1,935 grams of precious cargo from the South Pole Aitken Basin, a massive impact crater older than complex life on Earth. This is where China chose to dig. And what they found buried in this ancient scar challenges everything we thought we knew about the moon's formation. They were time capsules from the moon's violent birth 4.5 billion years ago. While scientists are still analyzing these samples, Early observations suggest they're unlike anything we've seen from the near side. But to understand why this achievement matters, we need to journey back through China's incredible series of discoveries that began over a decade ago. Because what China found on the moon isn't just about one mission, it's about a systematic exploration that has revolutionized our understanding of our cosmic neighbor. Our story begins in 2020 when Chang'e 5 landed in a region that hadn't seen volcanic activity for over 2 billion years. What they found there could change civilization itself. Hidden within lunar soil samples, Chinese scientists discovered something extraordinary. A tiny crystal, barely visible to the naked eye, containing the key to unlimited clean energy. They called it Changes Site-Y, the sixth new mineral ever discovered on the moon. But this wasn't just any mineral. It contained helium-3, the holy grail of clean energy. Unlike current nuclear reactions that produce dangerous radiation, helium-3 fusion creates only harmless helium and enormous amounts of clean energy. One single gram could power an entire city for a year with zero radioactive waste. On Earth, helium-3 is rarer than diamonds. Only about 15 tons exist globally. But on the moon? Scientists estimate there could be over 1 million tons waiting to be harvested. And this discovery, announced in September 2022, was just the beginning of China's moon revelations. For decades, scientists believed the moon was bone dry, a lifeless desert floating in space. Then China's Chang'e 5 samples shattered that assumption in the most unexpected way. In 2024, Chinese researchers announced the discovery of a mineral they called ULM-1 a crystal containing an astounding 41% water by weight. This wasn't just traces of hydrogen or ice hiding in shadowed craters. This was actual H2O molecules locked within the crystal structure of moon rocks. But here's what stunned the scientific community. This water wasn't where anyone expected it. The water molecules were found in samples from the sunlit surface, areas where conventional wisdom said water should instantly evaporate into space. This discovery suggests water might be abundant across the entire moon, not just at the poles where we've been looking. Future lunar bases wouldn't need to be built in permanently shadowed regions. Astronauts could potentially extract water from the ground beneath their feet anywhere on the lunar surface. But even more incredible than finding water was discovering an entire hidden world beneath the moon's surface. This discovery actually began over 15 years ago, but it took multiple missions to understand its true significance. In 2009, Japan's Selene probe spotted something strange. Mysterious black holes on the moon's surface. That weren't impact craters. These holes were doorways to a hidden realm that could house entire civilizations. Advanced analysis revealed these openings were collapsed sections of ancient lava tubes. Hollow underground tunnels created billions of years ago. When the moon was volcanically active, NASA's GRAIL mission in 2017 confirmed what scientists suspected. Vast networks of empty chambers stretching for kilometers beneath the lunar surface. But here's the incredible part. Inside these tubes, conditions are perfect for human habitation. The temperature stays constant at 63 degrees Fahrenheit. No deadly radiation, 
no micrometeorite impacts, no extreme temperature swings. Some of these chambers are over a kilometer wide, large enough to house entire underground cities. It's as if the moon prepared perfect underground habitats for future human inhabitants, waiting billions of years for us to discover them. What makes China's achievements extraordinary isn't just the individual discoveries, it's the methodical approach. While other nations focused on flashy one-off missions, China built a systematic exploration program. Chang'e 1 and 2 mapped the moon's surface with unprecedented detail. Chang'e 3 proved China could land safely and deploy rovers. Chang'e 4 made history by landing on the far side, a feat requiring a relay satellite since direct communication is impossible. Each mission built upon the last, creating a comprehensive understanding that no other nation possesses. Chang'e 5 brought back the youngest moon rocks ever collected, rewriting theories about lunar geology. These samples revealed that the moon stayed volcanically active far longer than anyone thought possible, challenging our fundamental understanding of how rocky planets evolve. And now Chang'e 6 has completed the picture by sampling the far side, giving scientists their first direct comparison between the moon's two faces. Early observations suggest the far side has a completely different geological history, but China isn't stopping at discovery. They're preparing to inhabit what they've found. While other nations debate lunar exploration, China is planning permanent settlement. Their upcoming Chang'e 7 mission will target the moon's south pole, where the largest water ice deposits await harvesting. Chang'e 8 will test something revolutionary. In situ resource utilization, essentially using moon materials to build moon infrastructure. Imagine 3D printing buildings from lunar soil, creating oxygen from moon rocks, and establishing supply chains that never touch Earth. China has announced plans for a permanent international lunar research station by 2030. But they're not waiting that long to begin construction. They're developing specialized robots to explore the underground lava tubes, mechanical spelunkers that can map these hidden chambers and prepare them for human habitation. This isn't your grandfather's space race. In the 1960s, it was about national pride and getting there first. Today, it's about permanent settlement and resource control. China's discoveries have triggered what experts call a lunar gold rush. Helium-3 alone could be worth trillions of dollars if fusion technology succeeds. Water means life support and rocket fuel. Underground cities offer protection from space's harsh environment. The question isn't whether humans will live on the moon. China's discoveries prove we can. The question is, who will control humanity's expansion into space? Millions of years ago, our ancestors found shelter in Earth's caves, protecting themselves from predators and harsh weather while developing the technologies that made us human. Now, as we prepare to become a spacefaring species, we're once again looking to caves for protection. But this time, caves on another world. The lava tubes China discovered offer the same promise our ancestors found in Earth's caverns. Safety, stability, and the foundation for civilization. China has revealed that the moon isn't just habitable. It's the perfect stepping stone to the stars. Mars, the asteroid belt, the outer planets, they're all within reach once we establish ourselves on our cosmic neighbor.